The decision to treat somebody with disseminated marginal cell lymphoma is similar to the decision to treat other indolent lymphomas. We have to keep in mind that these patients have long life expectancies, and we do not want to over-treat patients, especially if the decision is made to treat them with drugs that have significant side effects. So even immunotherapy can cause side effects such as uh, prolonged B-cell um, hypogamma globulinemia, and this can leave a patient open to infection. When we add things like alkylating agents, we also add an added risk of secondary malignancy, such as AML or myeloproliferative neoplasia. As a result, we need to be judicious and have frank discussions with the patients about how much the symptoms they have are bothering them and whether or not it warrants therapy at this time. We look at a number of different factors when we choose a first-line therapy for patients with disseminated marginal zone lymphoma. One of the important things is the bulk of disease. The expectation is that patients with significantly bulky disease, a relatively rare occurrence admittedly, probably need more than immunotherapy alone. The reason for that is that you will more likely get a partial response with immunotherapy alone than you would with immunochemotherapy, which is associated with a high complete response rate. And if you have a patient who has a lot of tumor burden, then single agent rituximab will leave you with a relatively large disease burden um, if you only get a partial response.